winning has always been the point, not the process. We are seeing a man who is in a position he's never been in before. On the one hand, uh, Donald has never won legitimately in his life, but winning has always been the point, not the process. It doesn't matter if you lie, cheat, steal, use somebody else's power connections. As long as you get the win, that's really all that matters. Because in my family, certainly according to my grandfather, the worst thing you could possibly be is a loser. Which is why we see Donald going to such great lengths to at least sow doubt in uh, the minds of voters enough so that he could perhaps get the results in one state overturned. Again, that still wouldn't be enough to change the results of the election, but maybe it happened in other states too. He's not interested in doing the job. He couldn't care less about the job. He's interested in the power and the protections it affords him. The problem though, is that because he's so desperate and because he has so much to lose, he's willing to bend anybody to his will. None of this is performative for him. He literally wants to undermine the legitimate results of this election so he can stay out of trouble and not be branded the loser he actually is. No, I'm not surprised, and you're not surprised. None of us are surprised. I mean, I, I do remember when I was listening to the, the audio, uh, I, I basically yelled at the computer a couple of times, and then when I was driving into work today, there was a radio ad paid for by Trump for president talking about State Farm Arena and suitcases of, of ballots. And I'm like, that didn't happen. You know that didn't happen. And I keep on explaining this over and over again. Like I said, it's like Groundhog Day. It's not surprising, as stunning as it may be, that he can be so blatant, I think, in criminality. I know people are saying, well, did he have the requisite uh, criminal intent to violate the law? Well, I think he did, but I'm just giving my supposition. But if he didn't, what does that say about him? If he didn't have the requisite intent and he's just doing it because he believes it, that in itself tells you he's not qualified to be in office. I never challenged the numbers. I challenged the system. And I fought to make certain that every vote that got cast got counted. I had no notion of whether those votes would be counted for me or not, but I fought to make certain every vote got counted. And once that process completed, I started their fight to ensure that we never had to question whether voters would be heard from again. What he is attempting to do is the exact opposite. He only wants the voters he likes to be heard. And he's doing his best to dismantle the system. He's arguing against a system that we fixed through fair fight and through the Democratic Party that meant that no matter where you lived in the state of Georgia, if you filed an absentee ballot and you needed to fix a mistake, you were notified. In 2018, it was up to the local elections official if you knew how to fix your ballot, which is why if you were black or Latino or Asian American, your ballot was twice as likely to be rejected. If you were young, it was five times more likely. This election, that wasn't the problem. The fact that he's got over 140 Republicans in the House and over 11 senators willing to commit sedition on his behalf is probably making him feel confident. But, um, you know, I don't think it's going to happen. But we need what we need to keep in mind is that for the Republicans, this is a dress rehearsal. They're normalizing things the way things have always been normalized for Donald so that the next time we have a close election, they're going to get away with it.